before I prove to you how empowering this woman's right to be improving the whole system will help in, to uh, take away the problem of uh, mitigate the problem of terrorism. I will go on to my rebuttals. Firstly, firstly, let's talk about how uh, what they say about basic rights need to be met first. We are saying here that firstly, women's right is a basic right for these people. Just because that these people, these people are of the opposite gender, females, that, that does not mean that they do not get the rights that are entitled to all men. And we are saying here that just because and as we are saying here that they are, no, they are entitled to this right and just because they are females doesn't mean they are of a low class and what we are saying here is that when we are just meeting basic needs what, what, is, what is going to happen is that these men these, uh, in this patriarchal, patriarchal society these men are going to get the most <laughs> of no thank you they are going to get the most of these resources that are given to them and we are saying here that what happens is that these females, these children are going to uh, get less resources and what will happen is this disparity that's going to as I will explain it that's going to make the society worse for what yes. We are not completely shunning away women rights movement we are saying that you have to tend to the basic needs first because you can uh, deprive this you cannot deprive these people of food shelter yeah, 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 yeah. we are saying here that we are going to deprive these, uh, these people of this food and shelter as we are saying here that humanitarian aid has to be are, are still going to be channeled to this country. But we are just saying here about developmental aid. Um, first, we are saying here that this developmental aid could not uh, affect this aid like food, shelter, and everything. We are saying here that these resources will be still be channeled into this country. So, secondly, they talk about how, uh, moving on to my second condition, they talk about how this process will be gradual. We are saying, first, uh, no, thank you. We're saying here that in three points that firstly this is this process, this making it a more a longer process is gonna be self-destructive, as I'll talk about it later on. And we're saying here that you increase the speed of uh, improving the life of these other people. Why so? We're saying here that these people will be improving the 50% of this population the rights of these people and we are saying here that by giving them equal opportunity giving them equal ability to support themselves we are improving the points uh, of how households are able to uh, how households are able to uh, support themselves overall and that is how society will benefit as a whole yes sir but do you think that the women at large in this uh, Middle Eastern countries view this kind of aid and uh, appreciate this kind of aid with open arms? Yes, yes. We are talking here about the same thing that happened in the US. Females were uh, in uh, the Western society will the same uh, in was similarly downtrodden by the uh, the masculine uh, jet, uh, the males. And we are saying here that eventually they still fought for their rights and we are saying here that because it's exactly because firstly it takes such a long time and such a difficult process therefore we, it's exactly that point that therefore the western society needs to push for for these rights of feelings so now let me get on to my point uh, about how no thank you how you improve the society over we see that these so, uh, societies that these eastern societies that have are having troubles with um, with uh, female rights, are usually countries that uh, are fighting terrorism. We are saying here that what we are doing here is to re remove the support of terrorism. How do we combat terrorism? It's through two points. Firstly, by killing these terrorists through military, military uh, need, uh, support. And secondly, we are to fight for support. Wait, no, thank you. We are to fight for support for these terrorists from the people, from the terrorists. So we are saying here that we need to support these people from the ground level up. We cannot Sir? allow Sir? Them, we, we cannot allow this support to go to the terrorists. And how do we do that? By boosting the rights of these females, by giving them more power to protect themselves. And that's why I say if when female rights are empowered and protected, what we are getting is support from the uh, population, household, in two ways. Firstly, when the women are advocated, 
uh, hefty. We are seeing here that this point has a uh, has no negative, has a uh, uh, multiplying effect on the society. Why so? Because these females are the ones that often take care of the family, are often the one that uh, educate the children in the family. We are saying here that when these these women are educated, are healthier, are more able to not take care, are more able to protect themselves. We are saying here that this effect is brought towards the children too. And we are saying here when, that when they are happier, they are more educated, they are less likely to go against the government, go go towards, go for help from the parents. Uh -huh. And we are saying that that is why that uh, society is more likely to achieve its goal of peace rather than um, its jihad. Why do people want to fight against their government when the government is making them wealthier, is letting uh is making them more educated, is letting them more aware of their rights and they are they are more happy overall. And that's why and the second reason of uh, it improves economic growth. We are saying that poverty can be stopped with a single breadwinner or uh, a family with a single breadwinner. And that is how the Eastern uh, countries whereby uh parenthood is so uh is such a problem is uh, causes the and we are saying here that that's that's what causes the problem in this country. We are saying here that with accidents, with uh, death, you could handicap the sole bread sole breadwinner of the family. And we are saying here that because of that, whole families are devastated. Whole families will remain poor, remain dependent on the government or their relative and that creates a problem. We are saying here about empowering the woman, letting this family be supported by two parents, the dad uh, the dads and the female uh, mothers. So the family does not have to be dependent, does not have to be uh, a one uh, family member and so when an accident happens, they they would not be uh, struck by poverty and because of this reason, go with the proposition.